I'm going to talk a little bit about capo use right now and, and just maybe a fun tip for, for guitarists out there that want to try something new that's actually not too difficult. Um, this uh, is called a, a shortcut capo. I've, I've customized it a little bit, but you can buy them actually in a lot of guitar stores. It covers uh, only three strings of the guitar. Um, they're made by Kaiser Capos, and I think they're maybe 25 bucks at the most. Um, what you do, and I'm in, I'm in standard tuning on the guitar right now. So if I put this over and, and, and kind of uh, clamp down, so I, I put the capo um, right on the second fret, and I, I like to keep it pretty close to the fret, um, because if you do that, you can find kind of a sweet spot where it's not going to press the strings down too hard. And, and pull the strings sharp, um, yet still not create fret buzz. So I put it right there. A lot of people put it a little bit further down. Um, but what this does, and uh, it's really interesting because uh, some of you may have heard of dadgad tuning. And with, with dadgad tuning, you're taking uh, a standard tuned guitar and you're tuning down the high E down to a D, the high B down to an A, and the low E down to a D. So it's you're taking these three strings and tuning them down uh, a full step. What this capo does is the exact opposite. It takes these remaining three strings right here and moves them up a whole step. So the, the end result is just like dadgad without actually changing any tuning at all. So it's a great it's a great trick if you don't want to you know tune the guitar you just stick on a capo can play a lot of chords using only one finger. It opens up your uh, your other fingers to do other things. So. so it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've written a lot of songs using just a, a shortcut capo like that um, that start out kind of a little more simple and then have, have become more advanced.